All right, hello everybody, this is Nick from Arcade-Hunters.com, and we're doing something a little bit differently. Today is Wednesday, December the 15th, and today is the day that X-Men the Arcade Game makes its 19-year absence back onto the consoles. This game has never been, ever before been released, and something that we've said on the show before is, these are the games that you play with people, and luckily for me, I'm joined by two great people. So first off, we got my partner in crime, Mr. 2600. He's going to be playing Nightcrawler tonight, so say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. All right, and finally, uh, I wish we could have gotten more, but uh, we do have our very good friend. He's ho one of the hosts of Operation Kill Screen, and also very famous on the YouTube. We are talking to a jumble junkie playing as Storm. Say hello, sir. You better give me my fifty dollars after we're done. Yeah, this. man. <laughs> so, thanks very much for joining us, Tim, tonight. So I'm looking forward to playing with you guys. So we got the the game loaded up, and uh, we've all been uh, pretty much tinkering around with it, right? Yep. So, mm -hmm. so uh, now uh, I guess I'm going to go Colossus since everybody wants to hear that classic voice. So here we go. Lock in. You're good. Here we go. Now, as you can see on the screen right now, we're actually playing the Japanese version of the game. In um, this game, it actually gives you the option to play with the original American version or the Japanese version. So, um, the main thing is, like, what's the difference between uh, the Japanese version? Um, in the Japanese version, not only can you uh, have health pickups, but they also added in... Um, pretty much it's different the way the mutant powers work. In the original American game, the uh, your mutant powers would drain your life, and then you would use the orbs. Thankfully, in the Japanese version, it is completely different. See right there, it says mutant power. So I think, uh, let me see if I can pick it up. Yep, I picked it up, so now I have four. And everybody loves Colossus, so... <laughs> There's an energy pickup, so pretty cool. So, Tim, what have you been uh, thinking about this game so far? You know, I didn't even know about the Japanese version until the last start playing this, and I didn't know there was a difference. It's obviously a lot better of a game than the American version, but even if you still play the American version, it's it's an excellent game. Just a, a game for my youth also. Now, the one thing that a lot of people don't know about this game is that the characters and everything that's um, used in this was actually for a... Uh, direct-to-video X-Men, uh, I guess, cartoon that was made by Toei, or if uh, some of you people that are into Japanese animation will know, is the people that made Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon. So, yeah, they made, they helped make uh, X-Men. That's crazy. So, uh, because of that, a lot of people are going to notice uh, when you, if, if you uh, play this game without us talking over it, uh, all the voices in the game have been changed. Uh, thankfully, they kept up with the original corny dialogue, so they still have Welcome to Die, uh, Nothing Moves the Blob, so everything still sounds the way it should. That was all I can do. What about the music? Do you guys know if the music is the original? Or? Yeah, the music is yes. exactly the same. Yep. Which has an amazing soundtrack. It's and that's what that I, that, you know, I said in when we reviewed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Rochelle, is that the music, you know, really made that game. And the remake and music was just... That's why we have that video comparison with the old music mixed in, and you can really see a difference. It would have been good if you had putting the old music in as an option with that game. That's where... I'm, I'm very glad that they didn't do a reshell with yes. this. <laughs> Nani, thank you. Thank you very... If anybody from Konami is watching this, we'd like to thank you for, you know, doing this correctly, you know, giving us some, it seems uh, pretty solid with the online play because, uh, well, I'm in New York right now, uh, 2600 is over in uh, New Hampshire, and uh, Tim is up in uh, Maine, and it seems to be uh, running actually pretty good, right? No, uh, no. Uh, mine's a little, a little lag. lag. Yep. A little lag, kind of. A little bit of button lag. Uh, yeah. Well, you're, you're, ho you're hosting the game, right, Nick? Yes, I am. So that's why. On mine, it's a hair laggy. But nothing like too major. No, no, no. I don't know what it's going to be like with six players, so. 
I know. Well, I know that there was an arcade. I'm pretty sure either it was 1984 or Ground Control. Um, got this game and um, the monitors died, and I'm pretty sure they just took a giant LCD cabinet and put it in there and somehow got it working all for all six players on one big LCD monitor. That, that's awesome, and that's I gotta point that out with um, this version of the game. What you get on Xbox Live is the choice between four player and six player. The four player is pretty much a zoomed in version of the game and you're kind of almost getting only half the screen. The six player is technically a widescreen format. It's already set for a widescreen television, which this game does allow you to invite a friend mid game and they can jump right in. So we had a little connection issue with Nick. Yeah, because usually on, I'm pretty sure the Ninja Turtles, if the host leaves, you know, the entire room is uh, SOL, so you can't get back in. Um, see, I can play this by myself, but it's only in moderation. I think yeah. with playing with friends and stuff, it's I think it's way more fun talking and stuff. And you, know, I mean, you can almost like, if you really want to get really good at this game and be strategic. Uh, Nightcrawler, uh, you have to teleport. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Be strategic, you know? <laughs> You just gotta yell. Oh! And now it works. There you go. With, the, with the Japanese version, if I pick up an orb, it will it will keep uh, me at four orbs mm -hmm. until I run out of my three lives. And here's the other major thing why I like this a lot better than um, the previous Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is that the thing that they had in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was they had a stock of lives. I think you got like 25 lives and then the yep. game was over. Thankfully with this, you can just keep going. So if definitely, as I said, this is a game you want to play with friends. If you just want to BS and not worry about, you know, having to beat the game in a certain amount of lives, it's perfect. You pretty much have to know what you're getting, what you're getting yeah. yourself into when you get this game. I mean, I, I said it before, like, you know, you walk to the left, you kill bad guys. You walk to the right, you kill bad guys. You know, that's the way it always was, but it was just so much fun playing it with, with you know, more people. Mm -hmm. You know, with this, you know, it added six when it was just used to be four. See, I find the game wicked chaotic right now, only three of us. Can yeah. imagine three more? I know. <laughs> There he tower is. Doom and Shadows over and Star. He pukes out some enemies. Forget the name of these guys. They were in the they were in the cartoon. I want to apologize to everybody. We're not that big of a uh, comic book fan. And there he goes. He looks like that's he, it. He, even He's Krang not... did even Krang did a little more. Yep. <laughs> some Batman in this game. Put, puts out some enemies that drive around shoot machine guns at the air. And all they do is really run you over. Yep. Yep. This is when Juggernaut was skinny, because in Marvel's Capcom too, he's really fat. Oh, he's but... huge and bulky. <laughs> even even in the uh, in the Fox cartoon, they really beefed him up. Now I'm going to... Next time I die, I'm going to pick Wolverine, just so... People can see. I think one of the coolest. Deep I don't think it lets you switch. Uh, yeah, you can't swap. Oh, you space. can't. Oh. Nope. No, 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 she could. It did let me uh, have the option when I uh, got kicked out of the broom. I think that's because it kind of counted me as a new player. Uh oh. Wait, he can't stand. No state. <laughs> Captain Picard, you tricked us. Did you the say one thing that I've noticed that a lot of these games have dropped the ball with are they do not include a customizable button layout. You have to use, you know, the, the regular standard Xbox controller. But, you know, as uh, Tim was pointing out, he was using his, uh, his uh, Street Fighter controller. You can switch the buttons around so you can still play it in that classic three-button style. This is, I love this teamwork here, like, you guys pretty much looked at your health and saw, okay, I didn't need, need the energy. Yep. So, I, I better pick up. Well, this, so, I, I mean, you would play with that kid in that arcade, though, you know. <laughs> not you grab feet. everything. Oh, not My question to you, other gentlemen, is, 
if you could add another X-Men, X-Man into this game, who would you pick and why? Me? I would definitely pick Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> 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 I and then the, his mutant powers toss out and scramble day. <laughs> I'll no, say it again. I'd have to say the Beast. I mean, I was yeah. never a big X Men fan, but the Beast felt like. I How about you, Tate? Who would you like? Uh, if we're gonna stick with a female, I'd say probably like Rose or something. Most people would say, oh, do you believe? I want my raging Cajun. I gotta have some uh, some gambit. What about gambit? That's what. I yeah. Oh, you just said. Huh? Yeah, the raging right. Cajun, baby. Here he is, the master of magnet. I was gonna say. He's gone. Please do not turn off your console. And there goes asteroid M. So you know, definitely. So would you guys definitely consider for other people that, you know, definitely, if you grew up the game, definitely pick it up, right? Yes. Even Absolutely. If, and even if you're a fan of beat-em-ups in general, it's worth picking up. If you're a fan of the Uncanny X-Men, you know, it's definitely worth checking out. Cause I, you know, I was happy that it was 800 points and not 1,200 points. Yes. Because if you don't know this game going into it, you know it's going to be, it's going to be quick. I mean, there's even a... A an achievement for completing the game in under 25 minutes. So, you know, it you know this go from back where it came from. You know, it was meant to be in the arcade, it was meant to suck money from kids' pockets, but now it's here finally. You get to pay one price, a completely new version. You can play with six other friends, well, five other friends, and you get you know play it online. I mean. You, where where can you actually find these machines now? We'd like to thank you all very much for for uh, coming in and checking out this uh, little video review that we have of X Men. Tim, I'd really like to thank you for uh, coming along on the ride with us. Thank you. So you can definitely go to uh, jumblejunkie.com. You can check out Operation Kill the Screen. Tell everybody where they can uh, find out about your wonderful show. You've got youtube.com slash jumble junkie. You've got jumblejunkie.com, which is the hub of all that is jumble junkie. And my podcast is Operation Killscreen.com. So everybody go check out the, all, all the great stuff that Tim does. Be sure to check out the rest of our stuff here on arcade hunters.com. Thank you very much for watching and checking it out. And definitely go pick up X Men on PlayStation Network and on Xbox 360.